Welcome to this presentation where we will provide an overview of Splunk User Behavior Analytics, UBA, showcasing its potential in detecting unknown threats and anomalous behaviors behind the scenes. Within UBA, models are designed to generate threats, anomalies, or indicators of compromise. Anomalies are notable findings in the data, such as deviations from typical behavior or the detection of interesting patterns, like beaconing. Anomalies have both types and categories. Types are specific descriptive names of anomalies, while categories are generic descriptions for anomalies. Multiple anomaly types can share a category, and one anomaly type can have multiple categories. For example, anomalies can be grouped into various categories such as exfiltration, infection, or expansion. A Splunk UBA operator can view anomalies and take further action as needed. Anomalies vary in scope and complexity, ranging from simple highlights of a useful alarm generated by an external product, such as a security endpoint solution or a firewall, to stealthy data exfiltration attempts requiring advanced statistical and machine learning models to detect. A threat is a collection of one or more anomalies that form a clearly defined security use case, such as data exfiltration. Threats are often correlated with indicators of compromise, IOC, and other supporting evidence to provide a detailed description of a series of events. Threats can be computed in the following ways. For example, kill chain threats examine all anomalies for a specific user or device for patterns that align with the kill chain stages. Kill chain threats are data exfiltration by suspicious user or device, or data exfiltration by compromised account. Graph-based threats are computed based on groups of similar anomalies rather than anomalies grouped by user or device. Examples of graph-based threats are public-facing website attacks or fraudulent website activity. In short, threats in UBA are what users are seeking to take actions, while anomalies provide users evidence. UBA focuses on tracking user behaviors, with devices and applications as the primary entities. Anomalies are generated by the streaming models, batch models, and anomaly rules. Streaming models process every event as it comes, essential for specific use cases where the sequence and timing of events are crucial. They analyze ingested data in real time and determine the impact of those events over a short time window, such as the past hour. Based on this analysis, streaming models can produce a multitude of items in Splunk UBA, such as anomalies, indicators of compromise, or analytics data. Batch models and their associated anomaly rules operate on accumulated data stored in the UBA analytical store. They analyze ingested data over a larger time window, such as the last 24 hours typically running overnight due to the need to process large amounts of data. Some use cases like beaconing function in a mixed mode, where the streaming component identifies events of interest, which may subsequently be converted into anomalies by offline components. Threat models in Splunk UBA build dynamic threats based on the data and anomalies in the system. Threat models take into account the aggregation of data in Splunk UBA, including the data cataloged by the streaming models, to generate threats. All threat models in Splunk UBA run as batch models. UBA threat rules can generate threats by looking for specific anomaly patterns within a specific window of time. A threat is generated each time the anomaly pattern is found. Each rule runs on a predefined schedule, depending on the nature of the rule. Users can also create custom threat rules to identify verifiable threats in your network, like specific activities that you want to monitor for policy compliance. Create, edit, enable, and manage the custom threats that are very useful for your organization. You can create custom threats that apply to users, devices, or sessions. Several custom threats are included with Splunk UBA. UBA's offerings extend beyond just detection models. It also provides a suite of models that can establish a security context and compute security analytics. Models employ a diverse array of detection algorithms that utilize both generic algorithms and homegrown algorithms for particular security use cases. To further enhance the quality of detection models, UBA offers algorithms for rescoring anomalies by refining anomaly action and score rules ranking both internal and external users, and provides more personalized detection via threat rules, watch lists, allow, deny lists, and dashboards. 
It is worth mentioning that users can use anomaly action rules in Splunk UBA to manage existing anomalies in the system as part of the anomaly creation flow. For example, you can delete or restore anomalies, modify the score, or add anomalies to a watch list. You can also customize anomaly scoring rules to provide a level of control and consistency across specific anomaly types. Within UBA, numerous models utilize the concept of peer groups and entity profiling. There are four primary types of peer groups. Human resources peer groups combine active directory, AD owned groups, and management chains. Organizational unit, OOU groups, are constituted based on organizational units. Behavioral groups are formed by clustering behavioral patterns. And the network activity of device groups defines device peer groups. Entity profiling involves both user and device profiling, constructed through the analysis of user and device properties derived from AD activity. UBA aggregates ingested events, storing them in a scalable analytics store to significantly reduce raw events. The aggregation granularity and retention period can be configurable. Batch models operate on aggregated events, providing recomputation on training and scoring over a sliding data window. UBA models can establish their own policy for retraining and support large deployments. UBA provides a comprehensive solution package to its customers. This includes anomaly detection models primarily rooted in unsupervised learning techniques, security analytics models that offer personalized detection like internal external ranking, watch list allow deny lists, context building models which help establish a security context for other models, and finally threat computation models that exploit anomalies and context information to bridge the semantic gap, leading to the generation of threats. These models accomplish this through a combination of anomaly correlation, graph analysis, in the application of security rules, and more. This concludes the product orientation of UBA. We hope this overview provides a basic understanding of UBA's functionalities.